hello there. Hello there, and welcome back to a very exciting episode of Corbin Does Something. Boy, is it a project day today. Uh, you probably saw in one of my videos, I just put in a bidet, so that's why I'm wet. That's what she said. I have in front of me an electrical thing, so I'm all wet and I'm going to be playing on electricity. <coughs> that's your special treat, guys. This is Corbin Does Something. I'm Corbin. Let's get into it. So, uh... You can probably tell I already opened this. I'm not doing an unboxing. I uh, I already installed one. This is a three-way kit, two location control. Um, you only need one smart switch, and then you can continue using your dumb switch when you're doing a three-way uh, tie-in here. Now, it took me four hours to figure this out, and that's why the first time I did it, I didn't want to do it on a camera because... Uh, I didn't have four hours of footage that I could do. However, now I kind of know what I'm doing. That's a lie. And it wasn't so much that I didn't know what I was doing before. It's that everything was uh, wired incorrectly. So, basically, and I'm going to just go through this real quick with you. You have your ground, your neutral, and on the side here is where your, uh, your line and load come through. Okay? And then, on the top, for these three-way switches, you have what they call travelers. Now, the travelers, it doesn't matter which one goes in which one, but there's a, usually a red and usually a black cable. When I originally went to hook this up, it was a white cable. And it threw me off because I thought it was a neutral wire. I went through all these things where it was all flickering, and sometimes the switch would work, and sometimes it wouldn't, and... It would, it would work on, on the regular, the dumb switch, but not on the smart switch. But if I had the dumb switch off, it would work on the smart switch. It was just a nightmare, and I hated it. I hated every bit of it. It wasted my entire Saturday, and I was very upset. Uh, but now, I know what to do, kind of, sort of. So I want I want to show you guys exactly what, what to do. First, you're going to cut off the power, right? Once you cut off the power, then... You're going to need a flashlight if you're in the basement like me where this is going. Once once you have that all figured out, it really is as simple as take the, the switch panel off and uh, connect these. Now, I'm going to be doing this with a smart switch next to it. I'm going to get it all in one go. Um, that way I don't have to... That way I don't have to worry as much. I want, um, I want my basement to be smart essentially so it's uh that i leave the lights on this way when i leave the house my lights will turn off i just i need that okay um yeah i'm not a, a smart man i think i'll just maybe i'll do an over overhead thing and and tell you guys exactly what i'm doing or i'll just film it while i'm doing it nice. all right so this one here is the uh the, the traveler. Okay, so this red and black traveler wires, they're right at the top there. Uh, so this will be real nice and easy, just switch out. Good to go. Everything on here should be pretty good. Okay. So we're going to wire this one in, shouldn't be too difficult. Alright, so we're going to put the travelers in on, on the top here, nice and easy, right? So, right in here, this is where it gets a little bit tougher because the line feels a little bit shorter, but right in there. Lock it down. Okay, so that's locked down. Now we have the uh, the, the ground, or the, I'm sorry, the neutral wire. Um, I'm going to slide it right in with these other neutrals, and then when I put the other light switch in, they'll be good to go. The uh, uh, ground right here, again, this is going to be one I'm going to put with the other. 
Uh, let's go ahead and put this in here. Pray that this all fits, because I might have to just rip this all out and put it in a new box. That's what he said. I don't want to do anything that I don't have to do. That's what she said. Okay, so I had to pull this out of the wall, put in a new fixture, and uh, yeah, that, that all really sucked. Um, because I don't think this is going to be flush. But they're smart now, and I accidentally put one upside down, so I do got to flip it around. So, uh, you probably didn't learn anything from this, uh, and that sucks. I'll try to make it better in editing. That's a lie. I hope you like me.